Hi everyone, welcome back to Steamflow. In today's video, I got three small but important updates for Steam Deck users. First off, Valve released a better client for both the Steam Deck and the Steam Desktop client that adds new library customization features. I also want to talk about Deck Filter and its latest update. And Titan Quest 2 has actually released into early access and yes, it does work on the Steam Deck for the most part but without further ado let's talk about it so valve just released a new steam deck beta client update as well as a beta client update for the steam desktop app and it adds a feature that i think could be a very big deal for those of us who like to keep their libraries tidy and sorted but with this update you can now add custom artwork for your games directly from the properties tab on the desktop client now this is a feature that's been previously available especially on the steam deck with the decky plugin called steam grid db you could also do that on desktop but this new feature on the desktop client now makes it a little bit more official you still have to source the files yourself and download them but uh, it's a lot more streamlined on how you can change everything. But the real game changer is that Valve has added a custom title field in that customization tab. And this actually lets you rename any games for sorting purposes without actually changing the name of the game. So now, for example, for the Witcher games, you can now change that to show under W instead of under T, or you can group all your Final Fantasy games that are usually all over the place in your library. You can put Ultimate Doom next to other Doom games. You can even create sort of like a custom tag like you can say games i played in 2024 you can add that to all the games you've played in 2024 and sort of create like a custom a playlist of sorts some other examples that i could think of is like you can fix the assassin's creed games and um, order them in numerical order like you can type assassin's creed one two three four five six on every game you can think of it as a custom tagging for your library and i think it's a pretty interesting way to sort of implement a custom tag now do keep in mind that this is still in beta and as always with these updates i recommend to use caution these updates tend to break a lot of plugins and even official features so if you notice that something's off just revert back to stable and wait a bit until it comes out officially on stable channel. Now next up, Deck Filter has got an update. It's now up to version 1.10. This update actually came out a few weeks ago and I'm a bit late with the news uh, for it, but I still wanted to mention it in the video. I made a standalone video on Deck Filter a couple of months ago. It's an app that I really recommend for Steam Deck users and it's something that I use almost daily. And this new update brings a lot of features. Some of them have been requested by the community. Now, if you're not familiar, Deck Filter is a mobile app for Android and iOS that helps you browse, filter, and manage your Steam library and wish list. It's perfect for Steam Deck owners. You can sort by deck compatibility, demos, price, and more. Now, the biggest new feature is Cloud Sync for Playlists. Now, this was previously called Bookmarks. Playlists will now sync across all your devices where you have uh, downloaded this app. Uh, so no accounts, no logins, just smooth syncing. You can make a playlist on your phone and it's going to be there instantly on your tablet. This is pretty big if you bounce between different devices, if you have a tablet and, an, and a phone as well. The developer has also added a wishlist filter for games with playable demos. So if you've wishlisted any game that has recently uh, released a demo, and you can now check that and you can download the demo and decide if you want to keep this game in your, in your wishlist. I believe this is the feature that was requested by a user. So it's pretty cool to see that developer uh, is adding user requested features to their app. Now there are other nice quality of life improvements with the app mainly dark and light mode also the option to hide tab labels for a cleaner ui uh, you can now pick up the default tab uh, that you're going to land on when you open the app uh, besides dark and light mode there are now different team colors i think there's one for lcd and one for oled the app now also has proper scaling for tablet mode there has also been some performance and bug fixes with this new version now as i said in my standalone video this is a paid app it costs five us dollars but the features and the utilities it provides is really worth it. If you want to check it out for yourself, I'll post a link in the description below. All right, last but not least, Titan Quest 2 has actually launched into early access. This was a bit of a surprise. I don't think they had an official release date, but THQ had some press event and they just shadow dropped the game. Now, Noah from Steam Deck HQ has had a quick preliminary test and it runs for the most part. It will run at around 30 FPS with some divs below that but it's not exactly great on the steam deck even though it has full controller support you're gonna have to work around with upscaling lowering the resolution and struggling to hit 30 fps i personally haven't bought it yet and i'm not sure if i'm gonna be testing it on the steam deck so if you want to see more about this game running on the steam deck i'll post steam Deck's hq video 
link in the description below and you can check it out for yourself so that's pretty much it about this video i really wanted to talk about the customization tab i think that's a pretty great feature and i hope more customization features arrive to the steam deck one of the biggest selling points of the steam deck is that you can make it your own and this just adds to that so if you guys enjoyed this video consider leaving a like let me know in the comments if you've tried any custom tags and if you've tried this new better feature thanks for watching the video and i'll see you guys in the next one